Hey Beau, it's Nas Toki. I'd like to thank Kish LB because she told me about this story on her page. So this is from Live Science, Super Space Sunblock, made from skin pigment could shield astronauts from radiation. For astronauts preparing to spend a long summer vacation on Mars, hats and umbrellas might not be enough to protect them from the sun's harsh rays. And just like beachgoers gathering on sunscreen, explorers on the moon or Mars may one day shield themselves using creams containing a new bioengineered material called selenomelanin created by enriching the natural pigment melanin with the metal selenium. Outside the Earth's magnetic sheet protecting magnetic field, humans are exposed to many types of dangerous radiation, according to NASA. This includes damaging ultraviolet radiation, X-rays, and gamma rays from the sun, as well as the superfast subatomic particles called galactic cosmic rays that originate outside our solar system. The invisible accumulation of DNA breakage caused by these space rays can lead to cancer in high doses, radiation poisoning, and death. Traditional countermeasures such as lead or water shielding tend to be heavy and greatly increase the cost of a space mission. Enter melanin, a broad class of naturally occurring pigments found in animals, plants, fungi, and bacteria. Some types of melanin provide humans with their wide range of skin, hair, and eye hues and help protect us against the sun's ultraviolet light. Melanin is ubiquitous and enigmatic. Nathan Gianeshi, a biochemist at Northwestern University in Emerson, Illinois, told Life Science, we don't fully understand it. Animal melanins are divided into two main forms, eumelanin and pheomelanin, according to a 2014 paper in the New Journal of Science. Eumelanin is responsible for conferring black or dark brown colors like that of skin and hair, while pheomelanin contains the element sulfur and tends to be reddish or yellowish, and is found in red or auburn hair and in human lips. Pheomelanin also absorbs x-rays much more efficiently than eumelanin. Knowing this, Gio Gianeshi and his colleagues took some pheomelanin derived from red rooster feathers and tried to see if they could make it even more protective. Instead of sulfur, the researchers swapped in the element selenium, which sits just below sulfur on the periodic table of elements and is known to play a role in cancer prevention in organisms. By doing so, they created selenomelanin, which has never before seen in nature. During lab experiments, skin cells treated with selenomelanin were able to shrug off doses of X-ray radiation that would be lethal to a human being. The selenomelanin was absorbed into the cells and formed what Gianeshi called microparasols, or tiny shields around the cell's nuclei where DNA is stored. The cells took on a naturally brown tan color when they absorbed selenomelanin, Gianeshi said. Additional tests demonstrated that engineered bacteria-fed selenium could produce selenomelanin, meaning the substance could be manufactured in space. The results were published by July 8th in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. I love it, Radhima is J.B. Cordero, a microbiologist who studies melanins at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, and who was not involved in the work, told Life Science. The authors present a neat example how biology can inspire the design of a melanin analog. The material will still need to be tested on human beings and its space to see if it confirms the same protection yet. Gianeshi has already been contacted by other groups interested in studying his team's interstellar intercellular suns uh, sunscreen. The fact it is lightweight and created from basic organic chemicals during a space mission rather than looked from Earth makes it quite attractive. Gianeshi said selenomelanin could even be incorporated in clothing, such as the lining of a spacesuit, where it could work much like the microparasols to confer continuous protection, he added. He and his colleagues are now wondering if the chemical they synthesize might already be present in nature, perhaps in fungi that live in high radiation environments. As I said in a previous video, I think it was about uh, spacesuits made, with, made of melanin. You know, this is how valuable melanin is, that they're trying to create it with these bacteria that they needed to survive in space. You know, that this is the basic of all life. You know, if you don't have it, you will be killed by the sun's rays. So when you have these people talking about love is love, swirling, they are basically watering down their genetics and watering down their children's offspring of living. What they are born with naturally, they are taking their children's birthright away from them. Anyway, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I'll try to find some other articles to, uh, in addition to this. I'll leave this one here as well. If you'd like to support this channel, I'll leave my phone in the description. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it there as well. Peace.